Previously on Aquanauts, we are slowly and surely creating our way for the awe-inspiring aquarium tank that we are looking forward to in the future. We already added the Aqualite and it definitely shows the color change that the skin of the iridescent shark catfish have as you will see in this video. If you want to know where we got the Aqualite and other fish needs, you can watch our Aquanaut series for helpful tips and tricks on how we did it. I have added the link here. Once you are done watching, go back to this video for our episode 4. Let's go! Ferrer Sibs Vlogs presents Aquanauts. Hi guys! I'm so excited for this episode as this is the time I received my snails! Yes! Snails! When I was a child, I was not really fond of them and I once salted a snail back in our backyard. I know it is a cruel thing to do but it is part of growing up to know what is right from wrong. So when I learned that some of these snails can be pets, that is one of the reasons why I researched them. I also learned that they are great algae eaters. However, if you think they will eat all algae in your tank, then you are wrong. Snails need nutrients to grow and they are not really for beginners as they have special needs for their shell growth. I also bought some plants that are easy to cultivate and grow. They also require no CO2 or carbon dioxide for their growth. But putting some will really show some great colors from them. As you can see in the video, the snails are put in some disposable containers which we really can't avoid but to say this is pretty cruel. I do not support this but as you know, getting some good containers will cost the sellers more during this trying time and they are just making a living. From my perspective, I think they can give options for the buyers for better containers so that the snails won't die from suffocation or from the movement with the delivery. I guess that is the reason why they are putting excess snails to compensate and that is a good thing. I bought ram's horn snail and spike top apple snail. Ram's horn snail or scientific name Planorbelia duri are freshwater snails whose shells are planispiral, meaning that the shell is a flat coil. Such shells resemble a coil of rope or as the name suggests a ram's horn. They are in the family Planorbidae that have planispiral coiled shells. Next is Pomaceae bridgesi, common names the spike top apple snail or mystery snail, is a South American species of freshwater snails with gills and an upper column, an aquatic gastropod mollusk in the family Ampulariidae. Compared to the previous episodes, I have added the shop links for suggestions on where to buy, however, I do not want to create or spark some judgment to the seller. I will not add their shop links this time since I respect their way of handling the snails. However, I still do not encourage doing it. As you can see in this package, the apple snails are put in somehow a sturdy package to avoid them from getting squished and were secured by tape to avoid so much movement. The snails are put in the plastic with water and they came to me 3 days after buying them. So it means that they were rolling over in the package and it is the same for the ram's horn. So if ever you buy these snails, please do not trash them after seeing them not moving or hiding in their shells. They are shocked and stressed from all the movement so just give them fresh water and allow them to breed for an hour or two. Also, once some of the snails move, before throwing those who are not, check the snails closely first as you will be able to see some movement inside the shell. 
Before I show you what plants are good for beginners, I will show you some out of the topic hobby I have. I saw some of our plants wilting and some of the soil are not really good so I had to replant them and put some good soil. Here are some pictures of the plant before. And here are the plants after replanting them. Now, I will show you the plants that I chose for this beginner plant attack and hopefully, the plants will thrive here. First is I added some Osmocote tabs. These are plant fertilizer that will help our plants thrive and get nutrients in the soil. The first plant that you will see here is the Dwarf Sagittaria or scientific name Sagittaria subulata. It's an aquatic plant species that grows primarily in the shallow brackish water along the sea coast, in marshes, estuaries, and many other more. It is native to the Republic of Colombia, the District of Colombia, Venezuela, and every U.S. state along the coast from Massachusetts to Louisiana. It has also been reported as naturalized in Great Britain on just three occasions. Only one of these is recent and it appears to have become extinct by 2010. It is also recorded as a non-native on the Azores and on the island of Java in Indonesia. The next plant is Kabomba. Scientific name Kabomba aquatica is a popular aquarium plant that belongs to the family Kabombaceae and genus Kabomba. It is a perennial aquatic plant that exists in fresh standing water or in lakes and rivers with slight currents, mainly propagate by detachment of stem portions from the mother plant and have adventurous roots that are produced in the nodes. Their stems consist of horizontal basal portions as well as ascendant portions that usually reach the surface during flower production. The stems may grow up to 20 inches or 50 centimeters. I chose Kabomba as my background plant as they grow really tall and their leaves are fanning away that will create a great hiding spot for the fishes that I will put here in the future. The next plant I chose is Moneyworth. Scientific name Bacopa monieri is a perennial creeping herb native to the wetlands of southern and eastern India, Australia, Europe, Africa, Asia, and North and South America. It is known by the common names Water Hisop, Brahmi, Time Leaf Graciola, Herb of Grace, and Indian Pennyworth. In 2019, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, warned manufacturers of dietary supplement products containing Bacopa monieri against making illegal and unproven claims that the herb can treat various diseases. As this is an easily grown aquatic plant, this plant is good for beginners, and I chose this plant to give somehow a measure to the background and surrounding of the tank.
The next plant is from the family of Moneyworth. They really look the same but if you check closely, you will see their difference. Lemon Bacopa, scientific name Bacopa caroliliana, is a perennial creeping herb. The leaves of these plants are succulent. Smell of lemon if crushed does call for its name and are relatively thick. Leaves are oblanceolate and are arranged oppositely on the stem. The flowers are blue with five petals. Lemon Bacopa will grow above the water if given the chance with similar but waxy leaves and will even flower underwater occasionally, though the flowers will soon rot. Immersed flowers don't set seed on their own, thus it requires cross-pollination. As mentioned earlier, Moneyworth and Lemon Bacopa look the same except for their stem. Moneyworth have a smooth stem while Lemon Bacopa have small hair-like from its stem, and the smell of lemon bacopa is almost the same as mint while Moneyworth doesn't have any smell at all. This is the finished look of our tank. If you find this video fun and helpful, please hit that like button, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification bell too so that you'll be notified of our next videos. Don't forget to love our pets. Until our next video, bye!